Is the STM9 worth to play an escape from Tarkov and what is the best build? That's the topic of today's video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back. Glad to have you here and today is patch day in escape from Tarkov. We have or we can play patch 12.10 and with patch 12.10 we have the STM9. The STM9 is a 9mm semi-auto weapon in escape from Tarkov. So what you should do right now as always grab a beer or two or anything else to drink because I'm talking a lot about the STM with a lot of gameplay because I hate theory crafting and we should just start with the video. Before we start with the build I have to admit I played the STM for the last five hours and it's so much fun to play but I would say let's start with the build. I brought to you three different builds. The first one is the best recoil reduction build. You can get 19 vertical recoil with the STM9 in Escape from Tarkov and you can still have 53 ergonomics which isn't bad but in my opinion the best ergo and vertical recoil reduction build is this one over here. 74 ergonomics, that's awesome. And we still have 21 or just 21 vertical recoil. Imagine you can have the same vertical recoil of the vector. But in my opinion, this gun is a little bit different and it feels very nice and fresh to play. But we will talk about that, as I said, in a couple of minutes. And what I really recommend is that if the 16 inch barrel is sold out because these both builds here are 16 inch barrel versions. You can and you should play, I would say it a little bit more budget ver version of the STM9. This build over here and due to the fact that the STM9 is an AR based system, we can mod it like a budget AR15. So that's why you should run this build. I run the 14 inch barrel a lot because if you can't buy the 16 inch, the 14 inch is also very good. As you can see, 65 ergo and 21 vertical recoil and this build will cost you around about 140k so i would say we take a closer look about this budget or a bit more budget build first as you can see we have the advanced tube advanced tube 10k from mechanic moe stock is so cheap under 10k if you buy the fde or green version if you can't buy the Gral grip buy the hera grip or the stark ar grip also very cheap the mk10 rail from mechanic 18k or buy it from the flea market it's also very cheap cqr it's a very nice grip with the mk10 rail is also under 20k so in my opinion this build is very very decent the osprey suppressor is a little bit expensive on the flea buy it from ski for 30k or you have a bada you can put in a drill and you can get also one osprey suppressor per reset the cobra side is very cheap you will get a lot of ergonomics out of this scope. I like it a lot. But if you want to run the STM with the best what you can get, this is maybe the build for you. Of course, shift grip, advanced tube. The Zai rail is great with the STM9 Osprey suppressor. Um, it's the best, in my opinion, what you can do with the STM9. On top of that, you have 800 rounds per minute, 150 rounds more per minute compared to the Zyga 9. And with AP rounds, around about 400 meter per second. And that's why the STM9 is a very decent weapon in its category. And that's why we should talk about the ammunition real quick. In my opinion, you have two options, AP6-3 and 7 and 39. Battle State Games increase the price 2k for one shot is quite a lot but with 7 and 9 you have a very high penetration and on top of that your bullet velocity is also very high but in my opinion and my go-to is ap63 it's affordable and in my opinion also very decent with, with around about 400 meter per second and last but not least you can run glock magazine so that's why we have two options in my opinion the big sticks 33 rounds and the drum mag 50 rounds as always very decent i like the big sticks because the stats are great and you will not lose so much ergonomics but also the 50 round mech is very very powerful but in my opinion 33 rounds is enough it's not so expensive and you can as i said buy a lot of them from skier so first round no recoil control the so first round no recoil control 16 inch version let's go And look at that guys, that's without any recoil control. Let's continue, 14 inch version. That's, that's so incredible and I love that. Let's continue with some decent recoil control. So my trigger finger is a little bit tired right now because I played six hours with the STM9. Let's continue with the 14 inch version.
as you can see, no problems at all. And that's the strength about the STM9. So what do I think about it? If you want to train your aim in Escape from Tarkov, or if you have some decent aim, you should play the STM9. It's a great weapon because you have to go for headshots, but you can land headshots so easily with this beast. So, and that's why I'm so surprised how good the STM9 is in Escape from Tarkov right now. It's a complete different weapon compared to the other weapons in Escape from Tarkov. In my, in my opinion, with this decent fire rate, it's way better than the Zyger 9. Your recoil is better, your ammunition is good with some 7 and 31 if you have the ruble or AP63, which is in my opinion enough to run the STM9. I love this thing. And you know what I think about theory crafting? I hate it to be in my inventory and talk to you about how good weapons are or how good this build is. You have to play the weapon to rate the weapon. And I did it the last six hours and the STM9 is such a big surprise because I love semi-auto weapons. I love less or lowly recoil and this thing is so surprisingly good. You have to deal headshots, but if you can land some headshots, this thing is powerful. Decent fire rate, almost no recoil, it's great. Even a very budget version. Stock weapon, put a suppressor, grip, sight and you are basically good to go because of its semi-auto and how this weapon feels. Yesterday I thought about it, it's kinda useless because it's a semi 9 mil and the STM9 shows perfectly how important it is that you bring a weapon into a raid and you have to try and play Tarkov to check out what is good for you. Theory crafting is bad, especially in Escape from Tarkov. Feeling and handling during an actual raid is very, very important. I can't recommend it enough. You have to play a lot and you have to practice a lot to get better in Escape from Tarkov. And right now I'm really interested about your opinion about practice, the STM9 and some gameplay footage during these videos. It, it is really important to make some better videos for you guys out there. And as always, don't forget to like this video to show the world we Germans can win something. And if it's your like for this video, I would really appreciate it. And let's jump to the next one.